Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Not a huge amount has happened um, this morning following on from yesterday. Real big, strong self. Dow down over 250 points by the end of the session. Some people saying it's taken the cue from uh, the drop in crude oil. We're just currently trading at $34.60. It's obviously coming hot in the heels of our, uh, non -farm, uh, of our FOMC decision there on Wednesday. But the market was actually beginning to rally up. And as you can see from the, from the candle formations right here that We've immediately had a bearish engulfing pattern um, preceded Wednesday, so that was Wednesday, this is Thursday. Quite a strong negative candle to have. Um, and it's followed through a little bit this morning, but bounced off potential support at 17.361. We're trading below both moving averages. The other technicals are relatively neutral, and there's a real lack of any macro data due today. Um, so the markets are probably going to be slightly under pressure over the next number of sessions. Looking at the UK 100, we did have a sell-off, not as strong as what we had in the US. Um, 60, 73 still acting as potential support. This kind of doji formation that we've got right here is bouncing around about the, uh, the potential support level. So that kind of highlights how important 60, 73 is. And we're just a little bit above there right now at the time of recording this video. So then moving on to Japan 225. So there was um, an announcement from the Bank of Japan basically uh, mentioning that they're going to expand their QE program. And initially, we actually saw Japan 225 spike up quite strongly, and the yen, uh, dollar yen, also spike a lot higher. Until people were going, well, you know, this isn't necessarily good for the um, for the Japanese economy if they're needing to embark on a new stimulus program. So you've then immediately seen the um, the Japanese yen sell off. Very unusual candle to have here, uh, but very clear that there's been a real um, rejection of a move higher, and we've pushed quite far into negative territory, trading both both moving averages. The other technicals are quite neutral, and they were looking at 18,648 as the next potential support level. You'll see that same spike, but not quite as aggressive on dollar yen. Uh, bearish engulfing pattern though currently. Uh, we had a failure to break through the tips of these uh, of these highs right here. Uh, 121.87 is potential support, also quite close to that 55 period SMA. The next potential support, 120 spot 55. So let's have a look at West Texas crude that's just not really having much in the way of love. Uh, it's trading below potential support at 35.30. Um, negative day yesterday. We look like we will have short-term potential support around about 34 spot 23. Longer-term potential support around about $27. And that stronger US dollar is not going to do any favors to West Texas credit either. Looking at gold, gold uh, had a quite a negative day again yesterday as well, plumbing the lows that we had at the uh, end of November, start of December, sorry, uh, with 1,047 being the next potential support, followed by 1,031. Um, having a look at euro dollar and GBP USD, so euro dollar uh, has bounced this morning of potential support at one spot zero eight nineteen. Came off quite harsh yesterday. We have had a bounce this morning. We're getting quite close to that twenty one period, uh, yeah, twenty one period SMA, and we've almost got a uh, negative cross on the MACD. We've almost had a uh, reversal signal on the slow stochastic for for selling. Uh, it does look a little bit like 1.0819 is going to be an important level for euro dollar going forward. Finishing up with GBP USD, we've had a bounce of 1.4859, not massively much of a surprise. We've had a move slightly higher this, this morning, but similar to euro dollar, we're still in a downtrend here on, on GBP USD. 1.4859 is a support level to be aware of. So that gives you a bit of an idea about what's happening in the markets. There is no economic data due today. Uh, there's nothing much at the weekend. Uh, you go into Monday, you've got Eurozone CPI, it's the 21st. You go into the 22nd, you've got US GDP and existing home sales. And then you get onto Wednesday, when a lot of you guys are probably thinking about taking a break from trading and enjoying your Christmas. You've got UK GDP, durable goods in the US and personal income from the US, consumer sentiment survey, new home sales, and finishing up with crude oil inventories for those of you that are looking at West Texas crude. Right, guys, that gives you an idea of what to look out for. Keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Well, not tomorrow, on Monday.